So, um, we are going to start with finding a polynomial with the given zeros. So they're going to say, hey, there's a polynomial that has a fourth degree. Here are the zeros. Tell me what that polynomial is. So you're going to have to do a lot of foiling. Okay. If I know that there's a fourth degree, there are, they only gave me three zeros. What's wrong with that? How many zeros should I have? Four. So anytime there's an imaginary number or a radical, you have to know that automatically there's the opposite of that as well as an answer. So when I set this up, I am going to take all of these and set them up into um, a system where I can FOIL. So I'm going to have x plus 1. I'm going to have x minus 1. I'm going to have x plus, uh, minus 3i. And then I have to take the opposite of that and say x plus 3i. Because I technically have four zeros. Then I'm going to FOIL all of those together to get my answer. So I'll start with FOILing this easy one. I'll do x squared. And then I'm going to skip foiling the middle part because they're going to cancel. x times negative 1 is negative x, and x times 1 is positive x, so they're going to cancel. I don't need to do that extra work. I can just foil the outside and say negative 1, x squared minus 1. Same thing over here. I can just foil the outsides and get x squared and get minus um, 9i squared because the middles are going to cancel. Okay, what do you know about i squared? What does i squared equal? Negative 1. So then this becomes, instead of saying minus 9i squared, what am I going to say? x squared plus 9. Now I'm going to FOIL this. And this time I've got to do it all the way. So I have x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth. I have x squared plus 9, so 9x squared. I have negative 1 times x squared, so minus x squared. And I have negative 1 times 9, so minus 9. I combine like terms, and I get x to the fourth plus 8x squared minus 9. And that is what they're looking for as your solution. Okay, that's how we are going to find the polynomial when they give us certain zeros. Um, we're going to do another one up here. It says cubic polynomial. Cubic means uh, what power is it? Three. Three. Okay. And once again, they only gave me two zeros here. So what is my other zero that I'm missing? One minus i. So I'm going to set it up, and I'm going to say x minus two. Then I'm going to come and put brackets. And I'm going to put the one... I'm going to say x minus 1 plus i like this. And then I'm going to say x plus 1 minus i like this. I need to make sure that I put those in that order um, because it's going to be easier to factor that way. Okay. Actually. Okay, so when I go to factor, I'm going to factor by set foiling this. So I'm just going to bring this down for now. And then I'm going to end up having x plus 1 squared. Okay, once again, if I multiply this times this negative i, and I multiply this times that positive i, it's going to cancel. So I can skip that step, and I can go ahead and say i times negative i, which is negative i squared. Okay, what do we know about negative i squared again? It's negative 1. So I now have this, x minus 2. I need to factor this out. I need to say x plus 1 times x plus 1 and factor that out. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x, 1x. So I get 2x's and plus 1. And then I have plus 1 here because I changed the neg the i squared to negative 1 and it was already negative so it becomes positive. Now I simply just add these ones together. You have x minus 2 and you have multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 2. Now I finish by foiling the x minus 2 into all pieces. So 
x times x squared, x cubed. x times 2x, 2x squared. x times 2, 2x. Negative 2 times x squared, negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 2x, um, negative 4x. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So combine like terms and we're done. x cubed, here's a 2x squared and a negative 2x squared, they cancel. This is positive 2x, negative 4x, so I get negative 2x, and then I have minus 4. And there's my function. Okay. Now, we're talking about factoring some things, okay? Let's say it gives you x squared plus 1. It wants you to factor that. Can you factor that? What? Yes, you can. How? X plus 1. No, it's not a difference of squares. Oh, then I don't like factoring. Okay, so if I can't factor this, I'm going to set it equal to 0 and solve x squared plus 1 equals 0. So I get x squared equals negative 1. Take the square root of that. What happens when you take the square root of negative 1? It's imaginary, yes. You get an imaginary number. You get x equals plus or minus i. So to factor this, you should have x plus i, and you should have x minus i. Can you factor x to the fourth minus x squared minus 20? Think of 20. Does anything multiply to give you 20, add to give you negative 1? What? Uh, 4, negative 5. 4, negative 5. So x squared minus 5 and x squared uh, plus 4, yes? Okay. So if I factor that to x squared minus 5, x squared plus 4, I'm not done yet, okay? I can factor this out because I can say x squared um, Well, yeah, okay. So if I set this equal to 0, right, I would get plus 5, x squared equals equals 5, and you can take the square root of this, and you would get x equals plus or minus radical 5, right? Yeah. Here, if I solved, I would get x squared plus 4 equals 0, so I would say x squared equals negative 4, and you would get x equals plus or minus 2i, yes? Okay. So, when I factor this out all the way, I actually have x plus radical 5, I have x minus radical 5, I have x plus 2i, and I have x minus 2i. So when they tell us to factor these, we are factoring um, irreducible numbers, okay, numbers that can't be reduced any further. We're factoring them out into their imaginary or their radical forms. And then the last one, we're talking about finding the zeros of x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 2x minus 60, okay? We want to go ahead and um, find all the zeros. And then they, um, I'm going to give you another piece of information that says, given that one zero is 1 plus 3i, okay? So let's say they tell us given... 1, 0 is 1 plus 3i. What does that mean when they tell us that 1, 0 is 1 plus 3i? What else do we have? One minus we have 1 minus 3i. So here's what you're going to start to do. I cannot take 1 plus 3i into this, okay? I also cannot take 1 minus 3i into that. However, if I multiply 1 plus 3i to 1 minus 3i, I get a polynomial factor that I can then use long division with. So, I'm going to say 1 plus 3i, and I'm going to say times 1 minus 3i. I'm going to factor these. So I get 1, okay, and the middles would cancel, and here I get... 
Oh, no, I have to have that X in there. I lied to you. I set that up wrong. Okay. This is where the brackets come in. So I have X uh, minus 1 plus 3i, and I have X uh, minus 1 minus 3i. Set up like that. Okay. Then I'm going to FOIL that so that I can get my polynomial. So this FOILs here to give me x minus 1 squared. And then remember the middles cancel out so I can go ahead and do this and get negative 9i squared. From there, I factor x minus 1 squared. x minus 1 squared should come out to be x, minus, x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then you are going to go ahead and change that to a 9. So the i squared is negative 1. And so you should get x squared minus 2x plus 10. Can I ask yes. Over there, when we had x minus 1 and we factored it, it became x plus 1 squared. Over where? In the blue. I might have done it wrong. I just copied it down wrong. It should say x minus. These should all be minuses. Okay. It will change it. So then that makes this minus 2, which then makes this this, which makes this minus 2. And it makes this plus 4, which changes that to plus 2. So, easy. Yes. Are we, are we done with the lessons? As soon as we finish this. Okay, so then you have x squared minus 2x plus 10. Now you have to take this and use long division on this. Okay, so I'm going to set it up because I know long division is your favorite. And we're going to say x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 2x minus 60. And we're dividing it by x squared minus 2x plus 10. So, this is where you have to ask yourself, how do I get x squared to x to the fourth? What do you multiply by? How do you get x squared to x to the fourth? Multiply by x squared. So I'm going to multiply everything by x squared. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 2x is negative 2x cubed, and x squared times 10 is 10x squared. Remember, we are subtracting everything. This cancels. This becomes negative 3x cubed minus negative 2x cubed, so you get negative x cubed. This is 6x squared minus 10x squared, so you get minus 4x squared. You bring down the 2x. Then you ask yourself, how do you get x squared to negative x cubed? How about negative x, negative x. So negative x. So negative x times x squared is negative x cubed. Negative x times negative 2x is positive 2x squared. Negative x times 10 is negative 10x. Then once again, we subtract these. These cancel. Negative 4x squared minus 2x squared gives me negative 6x squared. 2x minus negative 10x gives me a positive 10x, and I bring down the negative 60. How do you get x squared to negative 6x squared? Negative 6. Negative 6 times that is negative 6x squared. Negative 6 times negative 2x is positive 12x, yes? Mm -hmm. And then negative 6 times 10 is negative 60. When I subtract those, wait a second, this should say 12. So when I subtract those, they all cancel, giving me zero. So I have a factor that says x squared minus 2x plus 10. And then I have this factor that says x squared minus x minus 6. Is this factorable? Can something multiply to give me 6 and add to give me negative 1? Yes, 3 and 2. So negative 3, positive 2, right? And we know that this was a factor. And so they had originally asked us, um, 
can you give us all of the zeros, right? Find all the zeros. So one of the zeros is x equals 3. One zero is x equals negative 2. One zero is what they gave us, x equals 1 plus 3i. And then one of the zeros is 1 minus 3i. So you've now found your four solutions. Where was the 1 plus 3i? They gave us the 1 plus 3i oh, to start with. Yeah. Okay. All those and that is what you're working on for homework tonight. Yeah.